I am Rob Rudloff. I'm the regional manager with API for the Southwest. I've been invited out here to the Arlington National Cemetery, which is the CB Memorial. And I've been asked here because I'm a CB. I've been in the Navy for 15 years, reserves currently, and we are here waiting for Admiral Nash. And Admiral Nash is what's known in the CB world as King B. He's the guy that controlled all the CBs. And if you're not familiar with the CBs are, it stands for Naval Mobile Construction Battalions or Construction Battalions or CBs for short. They were initiated to put up hasty construction where civilians couldn't work in the field. I'm Ken Bingham. I'm a volunteer with the CEC CB Historical Foundation. And I volunteer for the store in Port Wainimi. This monument means to me, it, it sort of encompasses everything about the Seabees. Uh, can do, we build, we fight. We build for freedom and with compassion and we've helped a lot of people around the world, Seabees have. They've done a wonderful job. In many parts of the country, they have a warm place in their heart about the Seabees. This is Rear Admiral Nash, former King Bee from the Seabees. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. It's always great to be down here at the CB Memorial. I went to all the services to see if I could use my engineering education, and so I ended up in the Navy uh, in a group called the Civil Engineer Corps. I, uh, as I've told other people, I got in to get out. I was going to take my three years and then get out and do something else. But it turns out I really liked it, and I, I thrived on the responsibility, and I, I wanted to be promoted based on my performance, and, and it all turned out well. So 33 years later, uh, I retired, uh, did a lot, uh, spent a lot of time with the CBs, spent a lot of time supervising civilian construction, and then a lot of time doing, uh, overseeing facilities maintenance around the world. Uh, what does the CB Memorial mean to you? Well, it's, it's more about what it means to the CBs, I think. It, it, it's sort of a grounding. Uh, back in, uh, back, we got this memorial built back in 1970 by, and the sculptures by Felix de Wilden, who was a famous sculptor. But every year, right around the CB birthday, which we say is around the first week in March, we all come out here to celebrate the history of the CBs. And the CBs, we have World War II CBs here, and we have Korean CBs, and Vietnam CBs, and Afghanistan, and Iraq, and and we celebrate that, that heritage every year. So to us, it's the grounding for the, whole, uh, for the whole cadre, not only of the CBs, but for the Civil Engineer Corps, who, as you well know, serve with, uh, with the CBs. I'm uh, Steven Strand, uh, Applications Engineer for Automated Precision. And you can see we're out here documenting the CB Memorial statue and uh, uh, mural in the background back there. We're using our two of our laser scanners. We're using the API uh, Hemiscan and the API Imager. And uh, what we're doing is we're just making a digital copy of the statue by using laser scanning technology. We're going to scan it on a pretty high resolution. That way we can get a pretty clean uh, polygonal model that they use for, uh, that's what they're going to use for the 3D printing. It's about a four minute scan even on ultra high resolution. And then they'll, they'll have the ability to scale this down into a mini version or even uh, with the density these scanners can provide, you can even print a scale, scale copy if you wanted to. You know, I really appreciate what you're doing and I know it takes a lot of time and talent and bucks, but we, we're grateful. Just like to say thanks for doing this. This is really important to us and, uh, and I think it'll be uh, very valuable. Funny thing is, they said, you know, we're gonna we want to get a we want to get something built that looks like this, and I have two, or three of them at home because 20 years ago they used to give them out. It wasn't, you know, it isn't going to be as good as what you're doing, but, but uh, you know, so.